Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad to be here too. And I'm immediately entranced with this entry. Uh, it's not an entry hall. It's like part entry, part almost gathering space. Yes. Dare I say it, party area? Yes, I want to have a drink here. A hundred percent our party room. This was a room that was a very hard room to design and decorate because we were very limited with this long sort of rectangular space and we were, it, it was tricky to put in a fireplace here. So I was like, what are we going to do with this room? And of course I love to entertain and I thought this is just the best party room. So everybody can kind of hang out wherever you want. Uh, I always have hors d'oeuvres or something to eat on the table. It's very sculptural and here in the sense that there's um, the bones of the architecture and all your collections. It feels very edited. In, instead of a pass-through room, I feel like it makes me want to immediately just sit down yes. and kind of soak in yes. your style. Well, thank you. Thank you. In this room, I have to say, is a lesson in restraint because I am I love layers and I love all different, you know, things kind of put together but I love my object. And don't think that I didn't instantly remark on how uh, you treated the ceiling and you even made the most of that space. Ooh, those are so beautiful. Thank you. Love a little hot color every once in a while. I wanted to ask you what made the cut here. I mean, this is such a sumptuous example of your love for editing and collections and it's all kind of contained here. It's, it's interesting. So I have a little bit of everything. I have a little bit of my grandmother, a little bit of my mother, a little bit of me, but, but essentially what makes the cut is what I can use on the table oh. because we don't have a lot of space for storage. So if I'm doing a blue and white table, I'll put blue and white and then I'll put something else in here and, and then I just set the table from So there. it's functional yes. as well as visual. Yes. What I think is so interesting is here we are in the kitchen dining room area mm -hmm. And you have pulled some books yes. into this, so books don't have to be in a library no. or in a bookshelf. Right. They can be right yes. alongside yes. Um, tabletop. Yes. And I love to just sit and look outside at the garden, and I can read, I can do my letters here, I can do a little bit of everything. And then when we're entertaining, oh. I put a wine bucket here, I have candles. So and it's it double just, duty, it's like it's a little study. Duty. I yes. haven't even thought, okay, so here's your station, yes. you write letters yes, here? I do. <laughs> I, I love know, that. There's no, you know, so yes, and it's such a happy room. It's so light. We've got a lot of sunlight in this house. So I am guilty of thinking that each room in a house should be what it is destined for. So study, yes. office, yeah. guest room, library, and you're saying, well, you don't even have that luxury. We and don't. a lot, most right. people don't. Right. So don't worry about that. But right. everything does have to look pretty. Yes. A, everything has to bring its A game, yeah. right? Yes. yes. I think in a small space, you really need to have your A game with you. Yes, yes. Or things that you love. I also think that so many people are so focused on putting everything away and having everything, you know, there's no personality. I mean, I love my things and I don't care if they're traditional or modern or, you know, I've, I have a mixture of everything and that's what I think makes something more interesting. Charlotte, you are a lover of black candles the way I am. Yeah, I, I can love, see it. I so love black chic. candles. They're so chic. I love black and white, obviously. And I you love. picked it up. I mean, this is actually more of a, of a brown and cream, but this is such an unusual pattern for... This is your dining room area. Yes. This is it. Yes, yes. So we have you know breakfast here. We work on our laptops here. We also... It's our kitchen and it's our dining room. So when I'm entertaining, I have, um, you know, everything is right here or the secretary or mm -hmm. the dresser, like everything has a function while looking pretty and holding while a candle. While looking so pretty and elegant. <laughs> and I bet you have one of the few dining spaces that isn't a pass-through room. So right. many people have yep. a kitchen area yeah. off of their actual kitchen yes. area. That's, and they say we never go into the dining room. I know. And actually one of the benefits of having a slightly more condensed space is that every room counts. So I love that you could probably have a dressy dinner here. We're about to have lunch here. You do your laptops here. Yes. And it all looks fabulous yes. and works. Yeah. And your kitchen is really just within a stone store. Uh, yeah. Because of this situation, I have, um, I love my English foot bath. This has been with me for it's many, many years. So beautiful. It goes everywhere. And it never leaves the counter now because it hides the sink. 
That is ingenious. So, yeah. <laughs> so the orchid looks like this wonderfully yeah. formal mm. something that would belong in the grandest yes. dining room. And here you have yeah. it here as this way yes. to literally break up mm -hmm. the less glamorous behind the yes. scenes area gotcha. mm -hmm. for your entertaining. Yes. Ingenious. Thank you. So Susanna, remember I told you that I've wallpapered every ceiling. Yes. Look up. <laughs> That's wallpaper? Yes. Oh, come on. <laughs> it is. Isn't it wonderful? It just changed the whole feel of the room. What gave you the idea to make it look like wood, to make it cozier in here? Well, or sort yeah, of like I think cozier and warmer. And I actually, I work in Florida a lot, so we're doing a lot of pecky cypress and things like that. And I just love the warmth of the wood. And it just wasn't practical to try and achieve that here, and so I wallpapered so the smart. ceiling. <laughs> what I'm remarking on is how unusually proportioned this room is, and yet yeah. you've made it feel so balanced and cozy oh. with these luxurious fabrics and oh. the way that you placed everything in here. Well, How does one tackle a weirdly proportioned room like this? So, well, the first thing that was super important to us was a fireplace. So the mm -hmm. house did not have a fireplace, so we had to put one in. And this was literally the only wall in the entire house to put a fireplace in. And we have a family that we love to spend time with, so we all love to play backgammon, so we turned the backgammon table at, you know, holiday time and everybody is here and this is just the room that we all live in. Yeah. What I love about it is the way you kind of bumped it up with these fearless touches. This fabric on the wall is crazy. Yeah, isn't it great? So, I don't know. So few people would have the guts to do this. Uh, even what? my wallpaper person said to me, I don't know if you're going to like this. This is a lot of pattern. And I just, I feel like it's magical. I it love is. it. It is. It's transportative. And yeah. And I just wanted something that was just a little bit over the top, but, but forever. You know, I don't like to decorate for today or a trend. Like this is, while it feels very modern and Because today, of the scale. Yes. It's, it's this oversized and paisley it's, almost, and it's, right? Yes. And it's blue and white and red, but then with the purple, purple and the purple. linen and the green, it just kind of just feels good. Okay, but you make that sound so easy and effortless. <laughs> How do you convince somebody that would think, mm. most people would say, okay, I've used red, white, and blue on the wall in a very bold mm. way. Am I really supposed to pair it with purple well, velvet? This but it works. this is the whole point of decorating. Yes. And I think this is the whole point of a collaboration with a client and their decorator is trust and patience. And if I put this on a piece of paper for someone that didn't trust me and know me, they would never, never in ever, ever. years get this room. So this is the master bedroom. And oh, it, so it started as a, I think they, the previous owners had it as a family room. So there was no wall here. I can sort of get and that family room vibe with yeah, all the slanted yes, ceilings. And yes. you made it into a master bedroom. Yeah, so I had a wonderful person that I worked with and she said, you have to put a wall up here. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I can wake up in the morning and look at the water oh, and it's so view. beautiful. And so we, and you know, it's just the two of us. So, so we were, you know, able to have, you know, a nice, spacious, wonderful room and another desk here. You that, maximized you know, every, yes. this is like, can I just say, <laughs> it feels a little bit like the way people outfit if they, if they live in a boat, that yes. every little nook yes. and cranny yes. is maximized and yes. so smart. And the way you made it cozy, you didn't put yeah. a cold desk chair right. there. You right. put a yummy upholstered yes. bench to yes. do your laptop. I just want to sit there right now yes. and like type yeah. away. Well, my husband was typing away there during COVID for a long time and I had to get him out of the bedroom. <laughs> Be gone husband. Yes, yes. What, tell, I really uh, like this idea. This is something so, that is not probably meant for what you made it for? I, yes. Well, I put, I always put in every, almost every room, any bedroom, I do a, a stool at the foot of the bed. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves to sit down and put their shoes yes. on. So many of us think of our bedroom last. Yes. I thought of my bedroom first and I wanted you know, my favorite that. lamp and my favorite stool and things that I, that I love around me all the time. Let's remark on the loose sight television uh, situation because you know how when people lug their TV up to yes. their bedroom, you didn't obviously have a yes. flat wall to hang your TV exactly. on. Exactly. So you were like, what am I going to do? I don't want to put it on some ugly bureau. I know. 
And you made it disappear yeah, and look so, kind of glamorous. I mean, we all live with televisions. Yeah. We just do. And mm -hmm. we can't hide everything Don't hide away. It. Don't and, bring in something bigger to hide it. Exactly. It only causes attention. And, and the only way to make this room with a hidden television is uh, I would have to cut off half the size because of the eaves. So I just like went with it. Who cares? So smart. We have a TV. We watch it sometimes. It happens. And, it happens. and you made it yeah. look so at yes. home here. Thank you. P.S. You have the most glamorous doorstep ever, as I knew you would. Oh, I want to copy that idea. Did you just wrap a brick you know, with a fabric? I wish I could say that that was my idea, but I bought that in London probably 35 years ago. And it's never left and your it's side? never left my side. It just comes with me everywhere. It's the best. Don't miss another video visit. Click on the orange cue to subscribe and have Quintessence virtually delivered from our doorstep to yours.